One organization works to support other nonprofits that make a difference in the lives of Bucks County residents. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is Ron Bernstein, Executive Director of the Foundation's Community Partnership. Thanks so much for being with us. Hey, it's great to be here. Thank Talk you. to us about the Foundation's Community Partnership. You really work with other nonprofit organizations to make a difference in the lives of residents, but also help with issues when it comes to funding. Correct. Well, Foundations Community Partnership is a private nonprofit uh, organization that supports behavioral health education and research. We provide grants for Bucks County nonprofit organizations. We award scholarships to high school seniors in every public high school in uh, Bucks County. We also subsidize service learning programs where we place interns with nonprofits in Bucks County, and we underwrite community education programs. In the last year alone, we've probably provided over $300,000 in grants to some 30 different Bucks County nonprofit organizations. Uh, ones that I'm sure you guys are familiar with, uh, Big Brothers Big Sisters, NOVA, the Networks of Victims Assistance, Tabor Children's Home, uh, Refugee Child Care Academy in the lower end of the county, just on and on and on, all these wonderful organizations that work, reach out and work with uh, uh, kids with special needs here in Bucks County. Really making a difference in the lives of residents, but you're working to make a difference in the lives of college-age students. You have your Summer Youth Corps, really a way to bring local kids in contact with local nonprofits. Right. Um, one of the things that we're really concerned about is the future of nonprofit organizations and where the leadership is going to come to continue the, the good works of those organizations. So one of our concepts is that when Bucks County uh, college kids come home for the summer, they have an opportunity to be part of a 10-week program that we refer to as our Summer Youth Corps program. And we place these kids, these college students, with Bucks County host agencies. Uh, this year we have uh, students at the uh, Pearl Buck Foundation, uh, the Nova Foundation, the Michener Museum, um, the Churchville Nature Center, the Bucks County YMCA, um, Pearl Buck Foundation. It, it goes on it and goes on. It goes on. And these kids go to school all over the country and then come home here for the summer to really experience what it's like to work in their own communities. One of the other things that you offer are educational workshops, reaching out to professionals within the community. You have two upcoming ones. One is on November 5th, and it's a workshop on child and adolescent anxiety. Right. Yeah, we, we also reach out and provide uh, accredited workshops for social workers, nurses, teachers, psychologists uh, who need continuing education credits. And we provide professional workshops throughout the year. Last year we ran six of them. We usually do three in the fall and three in the spring. And we bring in outstanding uh, teachers from around the country to run the workshops. And we usually hold them in Warminster at the Wellness Center. Okay, and the one we mentioned on November 5th, there's another one on December 2nd that has to do with psychological and behavioral responses to disaster. So really some challenging issues that need to be addressed by the community as a whole, but you're bringing these professionals together into one area to really find out what works best for their own communities. Absolutely, and that one we're really excited about because that one really is a focus on military families. Uh, Dr. Santiago is with the United Military Academy and he's a professional who specializes in trauma uh, for military returning vets and their families and so he's coming up to Bucks County and we're really excited about that presentation. Ron, we just have a short time left but if people are interested in getting involved or actually supporting the foundation, how do they do that? Number one, contact our website. Uh, www.fcpartnership.org and we'd love to talk to you. Okay, making a big difference in financial contributions and, and obviously time and talent are always welcome. Absolutely. All right, thanks so much, Ron. We've been talking with Ron Bernstein, Executive Director of the Foundation's Community Partnership. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Local Edition. For more information, you can go to Comcast On Demand and click on Get Local.